So in this example, we're going to use what's called the partitioning strategy, which is another mental method that helps when adding and subtracting numbers. So we'll get straight into question A to show you what to do. But basically, you're going to think of the number not as 21, but more as 20 plus 1. You're going to separate it into its place value. And 35, we're going to think of that as 30 plus 5. Now, I'm writing this all down, but when you work these out, you're technically doing all this in your head. And then you're going, all right, well, 20 plus 30 is really easy. That's 50. And 1 plus 5 is 6. So this one must be 56. All right, so moving on to question B now. We've got 171, which is, which is 170 and 1. And then we've got 23, which is 20 plus 3. Now, um... We're going to just put the 100 down below, and we're going to go, all right, what's 70 plus 20? That's 90, and 1 plus 3 is 4, so our solution must be 194. All right, now question C and D uh, both involve subtraction, so this is what we're going to do. 76 is 70 plus uh, 6, and then we're going to subtract 40. And we're also going to subtract 3. So both the 40 and the 3 need to have a minus when you do these. So 70 minus 40 is 30. And 6 minus 3 is 3. And at the very end, you're just going to add them together. You get 33. Okay, question D. We've got 158. So 100 plus 50 plus 8. And then we're going to subtract the 30 and subtract the 5 from the 30, um, the 30 and the 5 coming from 35. All right, so this is going to be 100 plus, now 50 minus 30 is 20, so 100 plus 20. And 8 minus 5 is 3, so plus 3, giving us 123. And that concludes our video on the partitioning strategy.